Hi, my name is Avery, and welcome to my channel. Today I got another video for y'all. We're going to be making a window with SFML. And SFML is pretty similar to SDL and OpenGL, so it's going to be similar to the other two videos that I just came out with. We're going to be making a window, and then we're also going to set a background color, do a few keyboard input checkers, and just a, a few simple things. But if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to check it out and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I come out with the next tutorial. You guys are going to be making new tutorials for SDL and OpenGL and SFML. We're going to be making basic stuff, um, a better keyboard system, drawing to the screen, drawing sprites, and anything like that, sound, and anything you want. But yeah, let's jump right into it. So once we've got a new file opened up, we're going to just go ahead and add in the library and like this, just SFML graphic studies GPP. And I'm going to have in the description uh, how you guys can go and actually install SFML on your computer for yourself. But it's going to be in the description. It should be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and define the width and height of our program. Let's make it a small window and the height as well. And set it to 360. And we're going to want to make our main function. So I'll just do main and return zero. And like the other videos, if you guys have seen those, we're just going to have a loop, which is going to be the main loop, where we're going to draw and do an input and update. So now we're going to, first thing we want to do, or let's quickly define these actually, uh, but we're going to want to create our window. And to do that, we're going to be creating uh, an instance of SFML. But let's jump right into that right now. So we'll just do that right here. We'll just do SF render window. We'll call it window. And we're also going to set a boolean for when it's full screen. So down here, we're going to want to initialize it. And to do that, we're going to do window dot create an SF video mode. And in here, we're going to pass in the width and the height, and then we can pass in the title. So my FML window. And then we can go ahead and set the frame rate. So SFML actually has their own function. You just pass in a limit, and it'll do it for yourself. So it's a little simpler than OpenGL and SDL2 that we've been doing in the last couple of videos. And we can just set the full screen to zero. So by default, it's in window mode. So then also, instead of doing the running Boolean, which we've been doing usually, we'll just, they actually have their own thing. So we can just do is open. So as long as it's open, it'll be running. So now that we want to have it open, let's figure out how we can have it closed. And to do that, we're going to go into the inputs and pull what's being pressed, and we can check if the escape button's pressed and whatnot. So we'll just while window pull event. And we'll just do if e.type smf event close. So it's closed by the X button. We're just going to do window dot close. And we can also do close it by the escape button. So it'll be the keyboard is key pressed. And we keyboard. And we're going to set it to escape. And then right here, it's also going to be window dot close. So it's pretty simple. Now we just check it for. The X up here in the top right is closed, or if you press the escape button, it's going to close it, and that's going to end the function. Now, let's actually draw something so we can draw a background. In this function, we'll just do window clear. And similar to, I believe, how it was in OpenGL, you can clear it with a color. So you can just do color, and they have their pre-default colors, so you can have variables. But I believe you can also go ahead and put in the actual numbers yourself with RGB. And then we'll just push it to the display, window display. So now it's just going to set the background to be red. 
So now what we need to do to make it so we can toggle the full screen. So we're going to do that. We'll just copy this right here. And instead of escape, we can just say we check for F. And we can just set full screen to the opposite. So full screen equals the opposite of full screen. That's going to toggle it. And what we're going to actually do, we're going to set it right here and change it ourselves. So if it's already full screen, we're going to want to, well, we want to set it. So we'll just do window create. So we're just recreating the window like we did earlier. Video mode, window width, height, FML window. And then right here, or actually, sorry about that. So this right here is setting it to window, and this one right here, we're gonna have to change it so it makes a full screen. So to do that, we'll pull this back up here. It'll all set up to video mode. We set that because we don't need to set the size because we're setting it to the window the screen size and we'll just do full screen mode and just set it up as that <coughs> and that's going to make it so it's full screen so that's how you toggle full screen now so this is actually pretty simple we have the loop draw and put the update creates the window it loop leaves as soon as it closes pulls an event for the keyboard presses it can close the window based off the escape and it toggles the full screen with the F button and we draw a background and we draw it as red each time we clear the buffer so let's go ahead and we're going to actually compile it so like I mentioned before in the description you can figure out what you need to install this library but this is some of the tags we use to compile it ourselves so I'm just jumping in right here All right. let's change this SML window. Okay. I'm going to find a reference to update. So we didn't actually use the update, but that's something that you would use because that's if you're in your application or your game or whatever you're making, that's where all the main stuff's going to be. And here you can see we have our window. Click the escape, closes. Click that, it'll close. And in the next video, we're going to cover a little bit more about keyboard input so we can actually see if the keyboard button's already been pressed because it kind of causes a delay in some sort of stuff. So we can change it to full screen, but there's a better way to do it. But yeah, you guys can need to check that out in the next video. So thank you guys again for watching. If anyone's interested in the code, um, just let me know in the comments. And feel free to subscribe and like the video and see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.